So this is a Paleolithic oil lamp. I had some leftover rancid coconut oil and I didn't want it to go to complete waste. So I found a rock with a small depression in it. Uh, my son found a cotton ball that we wadded up and dipped in the oil and we lit it and it's now serving as a wick for this lamp. Um, I tried uh, lighting it actually, we first lit it actually with a just a butane lighter and then I put it out and tried to light it with a uh, fire striker, uh, light my fire fire striker, but it wouldn't take the spark so I'm not sure exactly how Paleolithic people would have gotten one of these going. I don't know if it would take a, a cinder or an ember from a uh, fire drill or not. That's something that bears more experimentation in the future. but. Um, I think that in Paleolithic times, they would have been more likely to use bear grease or seal oil or whale blubber, something like that. And I'm guessing they probably would have used a piece of leather or very draw rawhide, very draw, dry rawhide for a wick. A couple of things to keep in mind if you do try something like this yourself is that while this is relatively safe, because the oil that I've spilled around here isn't uh, lighting, I'm guessing that some other oils might be more flammable, so you might have to be more careful. I kind of suspect that this might have some water in it. I don't, it doesn't say it does, but it just was difficult enough to light that I think it might have some water in it. But also, uh, it probably doesn't make much of a difference right now because there's not a whole lot of oil in that depression, but if you go to put one of these out and spill water on it, you're probably just going to make the fire go farther because this really is just a grease fire. So the safer way to put it out is just to smother it with something. I mean, that's just a dry rag that I tore some another wicking material from, and it's just blotting it out briefly is enough to put it out without catching the rag on fire. But all of this, of course, bears caution.